Hey there viewers, it's Charlie I'm back again with another Transformers review and today's review is going to be on Legacy Prime Universe RC Now this figure is actually quite divisive within the fandom Some people like her, some people absolutely despise her and some people are just indifferent about her What's my opinion? Well, that's where the actual review starts. But well, of course we have to start with the packaging. And right off the bat, obligatory complaint that there's no window so the figure can be stolen, or in this case the head. But yeah, the head's being stolen is quite a big issue. But moving on, here we have RC's uh, vehicle mode, which I think is really cool looking. Here we have RC in her robot mode, plus the close-up. This side we have some of the Autobots in Wave 1. The back we have her in both modes, plus a QR code if you want to scan that to look at her bio. And well, that's pretty much it for the box. Now, taking a, a, a look at the actual figure, of course, this was around the time to meet RC and motorcycle. This trend pretty much started around the time of, I, I think, Energon. And I think ended around Prime, because nowadays she, she's pretty much just a stylized version of G1 RC. But not gonna lie, RC as a motorcycle is pretty cool looking. I mean, sure, it does kind of look like a folded up robot if you squint hard enough. I mean, yeah, these are the thighs. This is gonna be the the crotch plates. These are gonna be the legs, but. If you don't pay attention, it's really good looking. Might might not be one to one with the of uh, uh, the OG, but of course the prime designs in Legacy are meant to be like stylized versions. Even though the other characters in Legacy are pretty much one to one versions. Well, not uh, not counting the uh, the rumored black convoy, but still. Fortunately, we do have some invisible hands, but oh well. Now, with this exhaust pipe, if I can just get my blast effect tub out. If you want to, you can actually plug in a blast effect there. Whether this was intentional or not, I'm not sure, but it does create a cool effect. Of course, you get a kickstand. Well, it's pretty much mandatory if you're just laying the figure still because, yeah. But still, the inclusion of a kickstand is definitely appreciated. The underneath, you can pr pretty much just see a head there out in the open. So yeah, now accessories, she pretty much comes with these little uh, blades, I guess, and if you want these kind of combined into a, I guess, ninja star, or at least that's what I'm getting with this uh, effect here, this little axe design, although it could be, uh, I don't know, like a, a pizza of energon. I don't know. But as shown, this can just uh, peg on to the back here. 
could make uh, uh, riding her a bit difficult, but sure. And she does have another accessory, but, but we'll, we'll get into that in the robot mode. Now, for comparison, here she is with her G1 counterpart. Or, well, the inferior version before we get the, the Studio Series 86 version. And unfortunately, I don't have the, the Bumblebee movie Studio Series figure. So, you're pretty much just stuck with. A sleek, a sleek looking motorcycle and a pink soap bar. But trust me, this transformation is way better than this. Ooh. But, well, here she is with fellow mo mo uh, motorcycle bots. Iguanas, who unfortunately doesn't have a kickstand, so... And unfortunately, just before I started recording, the peg for this actually snapped off, so... I'm gonna have to rely on Blue Tank to have him hold his weapon now, unfortunately. That wasn't the fault of the figure, that was entirely on me. But, still sucks. We can see how these two look together. And you can see, Iguanas goes for more Cybertronian looking bike mode, because it, it kind of looks reptilian, whereas with RC, she's definitely an Earth bike. And finally, here she is with fellow Prime Universe character, Bulkhead. And, well, you can see, well, Bulkhead's vehicle mode definitely changed. RC's definitely stayed true to her roots. And this is definitely getting me excited for the upcoming knockout figure. So yeah, that's pretty much it for the vehicle mode. So, getting on to the transformation. Well, first of all, just going to remove these uh, weapons, well, the blades. Now, this transformation is actually quite unique. So, to start, we're just going to take these flaps and tab them. Just fold them around to the front so you can reveal more of the robot mode and, well... And you can see how these tab in. This bit goes into here. This bit goes into here. Come around here and tab the back wheel and just fold that around. See how that going on. Just split all that like so. Move around the crotch plate. Split the back of the motorcycle around. Oh, that's spoiling something that's going to come later. Let's split these sections. And of course, these are going to be the arms. Just tap those into place. Rotate this 180 degrees. Tap this in. These will form the legs. Got this around the right way, there we go. Get the feet out. These are, uh, these do have indentations, so you can have this uh, uh, however you want. I found having it like this make it stand uh, the best. Straighten out the arms. Push these sections up. And just come around here. 
spin that 180 degrees and then just straighten that out as a backpack yep this whole section here just lays on the back as kibble but you can do something about it which i'll show later but for now here we have rc in her robot mode and compared to her g1 incarnation well, the one released in the Air Fries, at least. That's definitely a much more involved transformation. It's on the table. But we're having a 360. I mean, yeah, she does have that back kibble, unfortunately, but there is something that you can do with it. In fact, there's a couple of things you can do, actually. Now, taking a, a, a look at the head. It's, well, it does resemble Prime RC, but it's like they just... It's like they took Prime RC's head and put it in, in G1. Like, it's what if Sumbo drew Prime RC's head. That's what I'm getting from this. I mean, of course, the Prime designs in Legacy are meant to be like, what if they were in G1? But, yeah. I feel like this comes at a couple of sacrifices. Yeah, I, I keep bringing it up. I'm sorry. Let's just move on. Well, if we just get the blades out again... Of course, you can just plug those into her arms. I mean, sure. In my opinion, these are some of the weakest of the weapons in Legacy. I mean, Bulkhead had a freaking wrecking ball and a shoulder mounted Gatling gun. Lisa Prime had a. a Lisa Prime had his a sword. Skids had a, a, a an axe that was also a gun. Kickback had blades that could also form an abdomen, which I didn't show in his review. But this, this is kind of weak in my opinion. It's kind of like they finished designing the figure and just realized, oh, darn it, we forgot to think of uh, weapons for this uh, figure. I just came up with some at the last minute. That's what I'm getting from these. I mean, yeah, they can uh, combine, and you can just plug it into the arm like this as like a shield, I guess. But yeah, I'm not really a fan of this. But she does have another accessory for you can actually remove the wheel. And I guess if you want, you can just have the wheel as a weapon. I don't know. But what this can do is... This can actually split open. I mean, okay. So it's like a drone now. Or like a... Serving tray for the energy on pizza. So after Prime, RC became a waitress at, at, at McAdams. Yeah, and you, ha you had cannon. After Prime ended, RC became a waitress at McAdams. Old, uh, yeah, I can't even speak. It's just uh, ridiculous. So yeah, RC now works for McAdams old... Uh, 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 I know what I mean, sorry. But that's all I'm getting for this. Like, she's serving, like, uh, drinks of, of, uh, uh, I know, like, I, I could just see her, like, serving to the animated constructor cons or whatever. It's just that ridiculous of a weapon. So, yeah. To avoid me stuttering, 
Uh, uh, you see, I'm just making a complete fool of myself, but to uh, uh, avoid me stuttering even more because I'm just embarrassing myself. Another thing that you can do here is plug it in, in, into this port. And what this does is, let's just get this out of the way. You can have this going on. So now she's just a blue version of G2 Road Rocket. And this actually makes sense because pe people are theorizing that this is a pre-tool for Road Rocket. I mean, sure. I mean, it's gonna be—it's gonna mean that Road Rocket's gonna have a feminine body when he's released. But sure. But in that case, it's, it is going to require some mandatory, uh, mandatory parts for me when Road Rocket does release. Speaking of parts forming, don't worry, it's not mandatory. What you can do is, if you don't like this, you can just take it off. With this removed, no more backpack. But, well, then you have nowhere else to put this. Like, she can't hold this as a weapon... I mean, it could be like a hat, kind of like the European MicroMasters. Like, remember the MicroMaster version? Uh, not MicroMaster, Action Master. But like, remember the Action Master version of Trax? He had this thing that could go on his head. It could be something like that. <laughs> but yeah, there's just nowhere to put this if you remove it. But if you want to display her with no backpack, then that's an option. But, yeah, just uh, just because I don't really put my stuff in, in an accessory tub unless it's completely necessary. Like, if it's a vehicle mode only accessory that has nowhere to go in the robot mode. And now I can't even put it back on because I can't even find the actual uh, tablet it goes into. There we go. So yeah, you do have a couple of options. If you want her to have an entire motorcycle sticking off her back, then you can have that. If you want her working at McAdams as a waitress for serving drinks, then you can have that. If you want her holding an entire wheel, then you can do that. If you want her cosplaying as Road Rocket, then you can do that. Or if you just want everything in a tub and her just looking stock standard, then there you go. Let's just have a work for Buchanan's old uh, oil house for now. That's what I was trying to say earlier before making a complete fool of myself. But seriously, this just, this just looks like a plate of drinks, just without the drinks. Well, comparing her with her G1 counterpart, I mean, which backpack would you prefer? I mean, on, on the bright side, I guess G1 RC can also have a skateboard, or, or, or in this case, a surfboard. If you want to have that going on. I'm not going to transform it fully, but if you want that going on. Yeah, oops. You see, whenever you, you're recording, that's when everything goes to scrap. Yeah, you must not transform correctly. Here she is with Miss Hoverboard. Here she, here she is with Mr. Can't even hold his weapon anymore, which definitely bummed about that. 
And here she is with Mr. I Needed That. And once again, this is definitely getting me excited for Knockout. I'm just removing this so we can get onto the articulation. Might as well just remove the, this as well, because this might get in the way as well. But for RC's articulation, the head is on a ball joint, so if you want to be a complete degenerate and remove her head and package, then go ahead. Although, if you do, then, well, screw you if you do that. Her arms can, of course, move, though this might get in the way. Of course, you can T-pose. She's got an elbow joint, a bicep joint, which... During transformation, I have had this come off easily, so, yeah. This can slide down a bit too easily. A waist swivel, which... Well... It's a bit weird. Well, the way it acts is a bit weird, I mean. This can go forward. You can go back that far. She's got a knee joint. She could do the splits. She's got a... So... So yeah, she can do the splits and she's got a good ankle pivot about that far. And if you want to do, do the laser feet, I don't really feel like doing it this time, but... Go ahead. So yeah, um, um, and this can of course swivel, and I'm just going to give her all her weaponry back. And well, that's pretty much all I have to say about uh, this figure. Oh, there we go, I got a standing. So complaints, well I actually have quite a few. It can be quite awkward to get at the stand at times, as you just saw. Second, what are these weapons? I mean, this drone serving dish? What? And these blades? Like, are you could have modeled an actual gun for her or something instead of those blades? I don't know. Also, I think just having that remove is a bit weird because sometimes it comes off when I'm just trying to transform it and it gets really annoying. Plus, trying to get these wheels tabbed in for the transformation is also really annoying as well. Plus, the way that these wheels look just makes it kind of resemble Cybertron Ransack. I don't know if we're we'll get, get, gonna get a retool of that down the road. Well, me personally, I kind of doubt it. Well, do I recommend this figure? Well, personally, this is actually my least favorite of the Wave 1 Deluxes. Followed by uh, Kickback, then Skids, and then my favorite being Drag Strip. So, I would say. If you like this figure, then go ahead, but, well, if you don't, if you completely hate how this figure looks, then, yeah, maybe not. I mean, for one, after Paulus actually decided to ship this figure way later than, than everyone else for some reason, I don't, I don't know why, but, yeah. So... I'm not really a big fan of this figure, but there's people who are who are definitely going to like her, and of course there's people who. Uh, my brain just blanked out. Like I, I don't despise her, but there's people who just wish this figure didn't did not exist whatsoever. Like I I don't mind this figure, but it's definitely my least favorite of the deluxes so far. So I I don't really recommend it, but. If you still want it, then go ahead. 
But well, this has been my review on Legacy Prime RC, and this is Charlie Young, signing off.